Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing okay. I slept fair. Uh, uh oh. Knocking things down. Oh gosh. Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to get. Let's see if I can adjust that a little. I hope everybody's doing good today. It got cold overnight, but not as bad as the night before. It didn't frost or anything. Okay, on our prayer request. Carmen's therapy dog passed away. Pray for her. She's very upset. Sarah Lewis's grandson is still running a fever and is sick. They took him to the ER. <clears throat> and Sarah, if you see this, let us know how he's doing. Christine Harris's father passed away May 4. Pray for her, Pray for her and the family. Angela Early is having tests next week there's a lump on her thyroid making it hard to swallow and breathe Lori Lee's asking for prayers that her oncologist appointment goes well Karina's cousin Carlos has an infection now still in ICU he had clear liquids for the first time since being shot his wife went to her doctor and didn't know she was pregnant and she lost it Diane's son-in-law Greg is home, but not, but is not better. He is the same. Tweets has been having stomach pain all week. That can really bother you. Billy Lassiter has an unspoken request. Tweets' daughter's daughter Shana has carpal tunnel and needs surgery. She has a lot of pain in her hand and arm. I couldn't read that very good. I did that real late, like one in the morning or so. Renee Davis and family needs prayers. Okay, let's see here. Today, the scripture of the day is Psalm 96. That's a, I can pretty well term the psalm anymore. I'm just getting to where I can turn to most, most books are close to them. Okay. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name, proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord has made the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in his splendor and his, in his, in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound in all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant in everything in them, let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. Amen. Okay. Our devotion today is entitled The Man Who Couldn't Talk. 
Sitting in his wheelchair at a senior citizen's home in Belize, a man joyfully listened as a group of American high school teenagers sang about Jesus. Later, as some of the teens tried to communicate with him, they discovered he couldn't talk. A stroke had robbed him of his ability to speak. Since they couldn't carry on a conversation with the man, the teens decided to sing to him. As they began to sing, something amazing happened. The man who couldn't talk began to sing. With enthusiasm, he belted out how great they are, right along with his new friends. It was a remarkable moment for everyone. This man's love for God broke through the barriers and poured out in audible worship, heartfelt, joyous worship. We all have worship barriers from time to time. Maybe it's a relationship, conflict, or a money problem. Or it could be a heart that's grown a bit cold in its relationship to God. Our non-talking friend reminds us that the greatness and majesty of our Almighty God can overcome any barrier. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. Struggling in your worship, reflect on how great our God is by reading a passage such as Psalm 96, and you too may find your obstacles and objections replaced by praise. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list and anybody else out there that needs help and anybody that's been affected by the, the virus, Lord, and help us. Uh, Help all the people in the prayer list with each of their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. Hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. It's nice out. I can tell. I don't know if it's supposed to you know, get cloudy or rainy or anything later on. But I should be able to get my walk in after this uploads. So I'll see you then, everyone. God bless.